Hey, if you're hearing loan officers talking about a rate and term refi right now, run. <laughs> Either they've got no handle on the projections of the market this year, or they're blatantly acting in their own self-interest to make a buck. So just reach out if you've got any questions. I'm not saying it's bad to refi, but I wouldn't suggest now. But this week we got a jobs report that looks strong and moved the market, but it looks like that's been looked into further. So the market's bounced back based on, you know, a decrease in weekly hours. But um, there's a really big difference between what we saw from ADP and then what BLS came out with today. But that BLS report is always revised a few times. And lately they've been off by an average of 40,000 per month. So we'll take this with a grain of salt. Now, next week's going to bring CPI and PPI, that's Consumer Price Index and Producer Price Index. Both are just measures of inflation. Uh, but world events always impact the mortgage bond market. So what's going on in the Red Sea is no different. So we'll keep an eye on that. You know, we might see rates stagnate a bit or even tick up a touch in the really short term. But we expect to see the downward trajectory of rates continue which is just another reason that you might want to hold off on a rate and term refi to make the most of it. But I'll be back next week to talk inflation. Have a great weekend.